welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be going into my top stock picks now keep in mind most of these are in the biotech sector so let's get right into it first off therapeutics acquisition corpse nasdaq txac what is it this is a spac and had its ipo on july 8th if you don't know what a spac is it's a special acquisitions corp or and ipo is an initial public offering so basically all this means is that this is a blank track company so it has no purpose except to merge with another company allowing another company to become public and it's a way to raise money also ipo means that it's becoming public so this only became public or available to trade July 8th, so it's fairly new. The price right now is at 15.79. The past month growth, or the past couple days, is 31.37%, or $3.77. It's potential, so it just had an IPO, and it's very new, and is looking to combine with companies in the healthcare field, and will raise about $100 million. In the top right, we can see a graph of what the price is on. It's only gone up. And here's a headline of the SPAC. Next, we have Seattle Genetics, or the NASDAQ SGEN. And what is this? This is a company focused on using monoclonal antibody-based therapy in treating cancer. The price is a little bit more. It's 174.35. The past month growth is 12.08%, or 18.79. And it has a strong growth over six months, pretty steady. And it is a little volatile, but it has been going in an upward trend. Now, the potential for this is there's a new drug awaiting FDA approval, and it was granted PDUFA date on January 21st, 2020, under priority review. Basically, this means that the FDA only has six months to review the drug, and something to keep in mind is July 30th, there's going to be the quarter two financial results are released, and if this is negative, this can have a bad impact on the stock. But basically, yeah, just keep your eye out and look for the approval date, and maybe there might be a run-up before it's approved. So that's just something to keep in mind for this stock. Here is the graph of its price. So it has been a little volatile, but it has been in the upward direction. And at the top, you can see uh, that there is the FDA approval awaiting. Now, you can see right here, the next one is Living Go Health Inc. or LVGO on the NASDAQ. Now, what is this? This is a company that allows you to monitor your health with a smart connected device personalized digital guidance and a 24-7-365 access to health professionals. So basically this is an app that's allowing people to monitor their health with uh, their phone and if they have any problem they can talk to doctors that are on the line at all times. It's mainly with diabetes and the price right now is at 105.68 for the stock. The past month growth is 71.70% or 44.13%. Now, the potential for this is it has gained popularity due to COVID, and some say it may stay around even after COVID. It's certified by the AADE, the American Association of Diabetes Educators, also announced better than expected preliminary second quarter results. So all this, these catalysts together allowed the stock to go up, and it's continuing to go up. Now, the reason I put this one is because this is a great stock for during COVID and after, most likely, because... People just like to have the comfort of their health in their own home. And especially with COVID, hospitals have had lots of patients and a lot of people don't want to go to hospitals because that's putting themselves at higher risk for uh, catching COVID. So they're using these apps to monitor their health. So here's their website. You can see diabetes, weight management, hypertension, diabetes prevention, and behavioral health. There's the stock over the one month period. It has grown. A little steady before and then it just skyrocketed in the past couple days so next one is osmonica pharmaceuticals plc or the nasdaq osmt what is it biopharmaceutical company that serves people worldwide they make tablets dietary supplements and drug for women's health now the price is cheaper it's at 877 past month grow is 53.32% or $3.05 and it had a quite big run up and I think it might continue because their new drug Upneak was approved by FDA which is a treatment for acquired blepharoptosis I, I don't think I pronounced that right but yeah here's the stock as you can see it was growing it was staying pretty flat line and it just went up in the past couple of days now this is a fairly new approval so I believe that Today we might see uh, another run-up. So on Thursday, which was a couple days ago, we are now Monday, 
Osmotic Pharmaceuticals, a small cap biopharmaceutical company, announced that the U.S. Food and Drug Administration had approved Upnik. So there it is. You can pause that to read the rest. But moving on, Myelin. So Nasdaq M Y L. Now this company, according to Wikipedia, Myelin N V is a global generic and special pharmaceuticals company, domicile in the Netherlands, with principal ex- executive offices in Hatfield, Hertfordshire, UK, and global center in. Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania, U.S. Now the price is sixteen dollars and ten cents. The past month growth is one point three percent or zero point zero two. Now this is not much percent growth, but that's not what why I put it in here is because over the weekend they announced that their drug Julio was approved by the FDA, which is a biosimilar of Humira. Now they are partners with Fujifilm, Kiowa, Karen Biologics Co. And biosimilar is basically a drug that is designed based off of an already approved drug on the market. In this case, it's Humira. They basically made almost some sort of a copy, but hopefully it's more affordable and that can bring in more money. Now, keep in mind, a lot of stocks are going to have their quarter two earnings this week or in the coming weeks. So be careful because if there is a negative quarter two earnings that is bad for the stock usually it's going to go down here's the stock as you can see it's extremely volatile but i'm hoping that it might go up since they had that approval and you can pause and read the approval up there it basically treats juvenile idiopathic arthritis rheumatoid arthritis psoriatic arthritis and chi losing spondylitis adult crohn's disease ulcerative colitis and plaque psoriasis in both prefilled syringe and auto injector presentation now i'm sorry if i pronounce any of these get these things wrong guys these are not terms i'm used to saying every single day next one it's an indian stock so if you're not able to trade internationally then you won't be able to trade this one basically what is this this is uh, according to wikipedia it's a company in india and they manufacture generic active pharmaceutical ingredients that are sold in over 120 countries it says no proof provided so they might just be claiming that without actually doing it but Anyways, the reason I included this one is because it's potential, so I think it's most likely going to skyrocket because its drug was just accepted in India for treatment for COVID, and when Envax received federal funding, it shot up by 40%, so now imagine if it got its drug approved. Now, I believe this is going to increase by insane immense amounts, so it's just something to look out for. Now, it has had decent growth in the past month it's 414.25 inr so here are all the headlines as you can see there's a lot of news out on it about its drug being used for covid19 treatment so yeah it's just something to look out for so thanks for watching guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed leave a like subscribe for the youtube algorithm thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video